today's video, I'm gonna show you how to pump down a Samsung mini split system. But before we get started, I wanna go briefly over the tools you're gonna to need. If you're replacing any of the components in the condenser, whether it be the compressor or the coil, a four-way valve, etc., then you're gonna to need to reclaim the system. Then you're gonna need the tools on your left, which is a reclaimer and a reclaiming tank. In today's video, I'm only gonna show you how to pump down the system. So we're not gonna be utilizing the vacuum pump or the reclaiming system, nor are we gonna utilize the micron gauge. We're only gonna focus on these other tools. Two adjustable wrenches, a set of metric allen keys, either your pressure probes or a gauge set. Gauge set makes things visually a little easier. You'll see why as we do the video later on. And then a very helpful tool is this core removal tool. This is a 5 16 because the mini split systems do utilize a 5 16 port in order to gain access to the refrigerant circuit. So this is gonna make our life a lot easier when it comes to pumping down the system, making the repair, and then putting a vacuum on the system and charging the system. This is a great tool to have when you're working on the refrigerant circuit of a mini split system. Well, with that being said, let's go outside and start pumping down. Now that we have all the correct tools, we're gonna to go ahead and start the pump down process. First, we need to remove this cover. Once we have the cover off, we need to remove these caps to get access to the valve. It's important to note that many splits require a metric Allen key, so be sure you're using the correct Allen key. In this situation, we're using a four millimeter Allen key. Now we wanna remove our Schrader cap so we can put our gauges on. I wanna go ahead and remove the core. Once I push this removal in place, it's going to grab the Schrader valve and then I can unscrew the Schrader valve and gain access to the system. Removing the Schrader valve is gonna allow for quicker vacuum. Shut it off. And now I can remove my core. There you go. All mini split systems gonna have two valves. You can have your high side valve and your low side valve. In order to pump the system down, we're gonna close down our high side valve by using a four millimeter Allen key. And we're gonna just go clockwise all the way down until it stops. Once it stops, the system will start to pump down. Once it's pumped down, we'll kill power to the system and then we'll shut down our suction port as well. Now I went ahead and pre-charged my gauge set so I'm not removing any Freon from the system. Take the hose from the low side of my gauge and I'm gonna hook it up to the end and open up the system. Now you can see that I hooked up my gauges and I have pressure on the low side of my gauge. Now I'm gonna go ahead and shut down my high side valve and begin the pump down process. Now watch the gauge as I close the high side valve. You're gonna to begin to see the gauge start to drop in pressure. Once the pressure drops down to near zero, I will cut the system off, shut down the suction valve, and then I'll be good to go. Now that the system is pumped down, I can go ahead and make sure I pull my disconnect and shut down my suction line valve. At this point, I can go ahead and open up the refrigerant circuit and make my repairs. 